So we have finished talking about the classification of resources. Now we will move on to the next part that is the mineral resources of India. So here in this particular mineral resources of India, we will be talking about the various points about the various categories like uh, we will be talking about the states, some important states, some mines we will be talking. Okay. So and what are their uses? So all those things we will talk. So now if you see minerals patterns in India. So minerals means what? So now in this particular point, if you see, so mineral resources of India. So in this, how we can we define the minerals? Okay. How can we define the minerals if you see? So minerals can be defined that it is a natural occurring substances. Okay. So mineral is what? Mineral is a natural occurring substances. It is a natural occurring substances which has some representable chemical formula. Okay. Some representable chemical formulas which means it should be either solid like we can say organic or the inorganic crystal structures. Okay. And I have definite shape and the formulas. Okay. So it is a natural occurring it is a natural occurring substances, natural occurring substances which has, which has some, which has representable chemical formula, chemical formula and, and solid structure. So this is what, this is the minerals. Okay. Like if you see about the iron, okay, for iron also we have the various ores, okay, in that we have the iron oxide. So we have that chemical formula is the Fe to O3. Okay. So in that way, that particular it should be it should be having some structure and also it should be having some representable chemical formula. Okay. So this is regarding that how we define the minerals. Okay. So physical what do you mean the minerals? Physical substances that have a definite chemical and a physical organization exactly sorry. Excavated from the earth. Okay. So, this particular point we call it as the minerals. Okay. So, now see, according to like we have the Ministry of Animals reports, accordingly, if you see in 2018 19, total of 95 minerals were produced. Okay. So, in this particular point, if you see, we have the four civil minerals. Okay. We have 10 metallic minerals, 23 non metallic minerals. We have 55 minor and 3 nuclear minerals. Okay. So now in this particular point, if you see some minerals under the constitution, state governments have the right over minerals. Okay. Like how we study about the forest. We study about the forest and there's are that forest comes under the concurrent list. Okay. Concurrent list. So here in this forest, both the state and the central level, they have power to use the resources from this particular forest. But if you see regarding the minerals, so minerals here, state governments have the right to, right for exciting all these minerals. Okay. So that is regarding this particular minerals and some important points regarding the minerals. Now we will come that, what are all those various divisions of minerals? So in the minerals, if you see minerals can be divided as the metallic and the non-metallic. And in the metallic also, we have the ferrous and we have the non-ferrous. So what are all those we can see in the non-ferrous? So first, if you see the metallic minerals, so in the metallic minerals, we have the, we have various minerals like which can, so some properties of metals and non-metals you all would have studied in the physics. So for the metallic minerals means what, which is consisting of metals. Okay. So here in this part, what we can say that metallic minerals, this particular metallic minerals, it will be write down these properties. It will be found in metallic minerals will be found in igneous or the metamorphic rock. Igneous or metamorphic rocks. Okay. Because sometimes a statement based questions can be there and they might ask that metallic minerals are found in which rocks form. Okay. So it will be found in the igneous, igneous or the metamorphic rocks. Then second, we know that it is a good conductor, good conductor of heat and electricity. So metallic minerals will be what? It will be good conductor of heat and electricity. Then we know that these metallic minerals, okay, these metal malleable. Okay. So now in this particular point, 
why do do we call this ductile so what do we mean by ductility okay so here ductile means what like we have some metallic minerals okay that metals which can be converted into wire okay so here what we can say ductility means what metals metals which can be converted into wire into wire so metallic minerals are what they are ductile and the malleable so what do we mean by the malleable so malleability means what which metals which can be metals which can be converted into sheet okay which can be converted into sheet okay so that we call it as the malleability okay so metals here in this particular point metals are ductile and the malleable and they are also having the luster luster means what they will be shining okay so they have also the luster okay they will be shining okay so these are the properties of metallic minerals so in the metallic minerals what all those examples if you see we have the various examples of the metallic minerals so in the metallic minerals if you see we have like we know that iron we have okay we have iron then if you see then we have like gold silver these are what these are the metallic minerals okay iron gold silver gold silver these are the metallic minerals then if you see the non metallic minerals so non metallic means what we we know that metallics are opposite to non metallics so it won't be having all these particular properties so in that if you see it will be uh, it will be non metallic minerals will be insulated bad conductor of heat and electricity okay and this important point regarding not non metallic minerals just remember that it will be found in the sedimentary rocks sedimentary rocks like how we talked about this particular metallic minerals that it will be found in the igneous and the metamorphic rocks similarly this non metallic minerals will be found in the sedimentary rocks okay and they don't have any properties of ductility and the malleability okay so what are all those examples of non metallic minerals if you see we have the various examples like we can say that limestone we have we have limestone mica okay we have graphite so we have graphite so various things are there sorry not graphite we have the dolomite so various non metallic minerals are there okay so now regarding this point non metallic now metals are divided into two parts that is the ferrous and the non ferrous okay so ferrous means what this particular minerals will be having the content of iron okay so that is the ferrous and non ferrous means what this particular minerals will be not having the content of iron so what are all those ferrous minerals okay ferrous metallic minerals if you see so in this we have chromite chromite then in this we have the iron ore iron ore and we have the manganese okay so these are the these are the ferrous metallic minerals now what are all those what are all the important non ferrous if you see non ferrous like gold we have gold silver we have gold silver so all these are what non metallic minerals sorry metallic non ferrous minerals okay gold silver also we can count on to copper copper lead so these are what these are the non ferrous metallic minerals okay so now in that point if you see like metallic minerals we talk that it is it is being obtained from the igneous and the metamorphic rocks they are the good conductor of heat and electricity they have the ductility and the malleability and they are also luster in nature means what they will shine okay so these all important points we have talked and also we have talked about the ferrous non ferrous minerals and the non metallic minerals so in the non metallic minerals also will be having the fuel minerals okay so what are all those fuel minerals like we can call it as a petroleum okay petroleum so these are what fuel minerals okay we can uh, we can go on for the gases natural gases okay so these are what fuel minerals okay so now in this point we will come about the mineral resources belt in india okay so what are all those mineral resources belt in india before that first we'll talk in some important points regarding this now see here if you see minerals in india in that if you see 
98 percentage of the earth crust okay 98 percentage of the earth crust consists of these eight elements okay but they won't be counted in the minerals so what are all those eight elements we have oxygen silicon aluminium iron calcium potassium magnesium sodium okay so sorry we can count on these also but in that like we have we have only two percentage okay we have only two percentage from which we can extract minerals okay the natural occurring substances we have okay so 98 percentage of the earth crust being covered by the these eight elements oxygen silicon aluminium iron calcium and the magnesium potassium and the sodium okay so now we move on to the mineral resources built in india like we have the various mineral resources so we have divided this into a particular belt like if you go to the chhattisgarh area there we have the various mineral resources in the nearby the chhattisgarh the, that chota nagpur plateau okay it is being ex, uh, chota nagpur plateau it is being extended in some parts of the jharkhand also mp also it is being extended okay so what are all those so we have given those name as the belts okay so in that if we see we have the northern belt we have the central belt we have the south eastern belt we have the south western belt and we have the north western belt okay so these are the important belt and now about all these belts we we'll see in the detail okay so in this metallic minerals already we have talked all these points okay so now we'll talk about all these different types of mineral belts in india okay so in the mineral belts in india if you see first we'll talk about the chota nagpur belt okay and this chota nagpur belt also we can call it as the northern belt or the north eastern belt okay this chota nagpur belt also we call it as the northern belt northern belt also we call it as the north eastern belt okay so now remember that when we will seeing what the mineral belts in india or mineral resources when we seeing we will seeing that in the area of these parts okay in the area of jammu and kashmir in the area of jammu and kashmir in the area of himachal pradesh in the area of uttarakhand okay in the area of uttarakhand and in the area of punjab and haryana there we won't be finding mineral wells okay any mineral uh, that particular places where particular minerals are found why because in these places we have the himalayan mountain okay we have the ranges of himalayan mountain and these himalayan mountains are what young okay these are young himalayan mountains ranges are young so it still now it has not been eroded that much okay it still now it has not been eroded that much where we can find this particular mineral wells okay the metallic mineral wells okay but where if you see in these parts like in the rajasthan parts okay in these areas okay so here we had the, we know that we have the deccan plateau in these areas okay we have the deccan plateau here we have the aralin mountains and aralin mountain was formed million million years ago okay so this aralin mountain have become the residual mountains okay now from these residues of the aralin mountains we have the various various minerals okay we have obtained various minerals from the aralin mountains so that's why many minerals you will be seeing many minerals we will be seeing that are being found in the part of rajasthan okay and that is happening because of the aralli mountains which is the oldest mountain okay which is one among the oldest mountain in the world okay so now first we will be seeing about the chota nagpur belt or also we can call it as a north eastern belt or the northern belt so in that particular point if you see we have the region jharkhand west bengal odisha okay so in these belts we will be finding this particular north eastern or the northern belt or also we can call it the chota nagpur belt okay so in this particular point if you see like here in this particular this is the chota nagpur belt is the most important in this chota nagpur belt we will be seeing 90 percentage of 90 percentage of iron 90 percentage of iron being found in this particular chota nagpur belt okay plateau area then 90 percentage of chromium 90 percentage of chromium also also be found in these areas then if you see 70 percentage of mica also be found in this area so in the chota nagpur belt then 70 percentage of coal also be found in this area 
So now in this particular point, if you see major minerals, we have iron ore, coal, manganese ore. Okay. Then other are chromite, uranium, phosphate, bauxite, copper, limestone. So these are the various ores which are being found in the Chota Naku belt. And mainly these wells, mainly this Chota Naku belt, it is made up of the granite and the niche. Okay. And it is the India richest mineral belt. Okay. This particular belt, it is the India richest mineral belt. So remember this particular point. Okay. Now if we go to, go to the so in this particular point, like also we have the petroleum found in these areas. Okay. In this in the northeastern belt, also we have the petroleum found in these area. Like in the Assam, in the Assam, we know that we have the various petroleum wells. In the Assam area, we have the various petroleum wells. So, like uh, we all know that about the Digboy. Digboy is a place in Assam where, where we have the petroleum wells. So, we have the petroleum wells also in these areas. Okay. Then also we have the coal. We have the Gondwana coal in this area in the Chota Nakru belt. So this is regarding the Chota Nakru belt. Now the next belt is what? It is the southern belt. So in the southern belt, if you see major minerals, we have gold, iron, manganese, gypsum, limestone, chromite, copper and the mica. So now in this particular point, you all can see various minerals we have and the maximum minerals are being located in the these parts only. Okay. Maximum minerals we have lo been located in this parts. Okay. So like we have the various iron ore fields, we have the various iron ore mines. So this is regarding the iron, iron ores only. Okay. This map is regarding the iron ores only. So if you see the, uh, all those iron ore mines and everything we have in the Chhattisgarh area, Chhattisgarh, Anpres, Telangana area, Odisha area, here you have the Odisha area, West Bengal area. So in those area, only some parts we have, but here if you see in this particular point, we don't have any mineral resources being found over these areas. Okay. So if you see the about the southern belt, so in the southern belt, we have the region that is coming under this southern belt where the Tamil Nadu and the Karnataka. So now next is the southwestern belt. So in the southwestern belt, if you see the minerals found in this belt are the monazite, zircon. So southwestern is what in this particular point we can count on to the Goa area, some parts of Karnataka and the Kerala. So there we can count on there they are forming the southwestern belt and there we will be finding the monazite, zircon, limonite, limestone, clay. So various minerals are being found in these area. We have the monazite. Already we talked about this monazite sand. Okay. From which we are which we have the thorium resource, the thorium reserves in this particular monazite sand. Okay, and which is at most important for the nuclear fuel production. So remember that monazite sand it is being found in the Kerala. Okay, then if we have the northwestern belt. So in the northwestern belt, if you see here we have the various natural gas areas. Here we have the various natural gas wells. Then we have the petroleum area, petroleum. Then all project. Okay, so what are all those major minerals? So major minerals we have the copper, zinc, asbestos, uranium. Mica, manganese, natural gas, mineral oil, salt, and the bauxite. So, what are all those region, region of the northwestern belt? We have the Rajasthan, Gujarat, and the Maharashtra. Okay. Then the next belt we have that is the central belt. So, in the central belt, we will be finding the regions Andhra Pradesh, Madhya Pradesh, and the Maharashtra. So, in that we have the major minerals: manganese, bauxite, limestone, marble, mica, iron ore, graphite, copper, lignite. So in this particular belt, you all just remember the region part. Okay. Like the all those minerals will be finding the most of the parts in all of all the belts. Okay. But remember that what are all those particular regions of that particular belt? Okay? Like in the central belt, you have the Andhra Pradesh, Madhya Pradesh, and the Maharashtra. Okay. So in that way, just remember these region names. So now in this particular class, now we will start talking about the iron ore mines. Okay. Like we have the various iron ores mine in our various parts of India. So what are all those iron ore mines? Okay. So now we will be talking about this iron ore. Then after it will go on for the copper. Then we will go on for the manganese. Okay. So we will be talking about the various metallic minerals. So now if you see about the iron ores. So iron ores means what? They are the 
backbone of the modern industries okay so backbone of the modern industry see ore means what ore means what uh, what it will happen in the ore part it will be having see ore means it will be having some impurity okay it will be having some impurity means what it will be in the mixed form suppose if you are talking about the iron ore so in this iron ore there will be the mixture of iron and also some other impurities also will be mixed in this particular ore okay like we talked about the oxygen okay so there also this oxygen mixture will be there so remember that ore means what there will be some impurity in that particular point okay like we talk about the crude oil we talk about the crude oil so crude oil means what in this case also in the crude oil like oil will be there but that will also having the impurity okay and that we bring it to our country then we refine it then we sell so crude oil means what it also has the impurity so in the top position of iron ore if you see we have the odisha chhattisgarh karnataka and the jharkhand so these are the top position of the iron ore so this particular iron ore if you see top reserves we have it in the karnataka odisha and the jharkhand world's top producer if you see we have the china australia and the brazil and and india ranks fourth in the production of iron ore in the world okay so now in these area we have some important areas okay where we find these iron ores okay so if you see the major iron ore belts we have the jharkhand odisha belt we have the madhya pradesh maharashtra belt we have the karnataka and pradesh belt we have the goa goa western maharashtra belt okay so now in this particular point like this karnataka and the go karnataka and the anpres area and the goa area we can call it in the peninsula plateau so like belt we have okay so now in this particular iron ore we will see that some iron ore in that we have some various irons presence of iron so in that particular point we will see about all those forms of iron okay all those forms of iron first we will see then we will see some places names some places names where we have these iron ores okay so now in this particular point remember even formulas of these particular iron forms are being asked so remember all these formulas so magnetite so its form chemical formula is what a4 okay so magnetite is what it is the if you see it is the high quality of iron ore okay, black color okay and the presence of iron will be how much 70 to 72 percentage okay and in this particular magnet at uh, only we have the most magnetic properties okay so what are all those regions okay if you see we have the singh bhum okay we have the singh bhum which is in rajasthan sorry which is in jharkhand we have the iron ore over there then we have the kudremukh in karnataka kudremukh in karnataka where we have the iron ore then we have the selam in tamil nadu and krishna kurnool region of the and for this we have this magnetite iron ore in those areas so in this area we have the iron ore so like in our previous part we have studied that what are all those states we, which is famous for the iron ore we talked about we have the odisha we have odisha we have jharkhand we have jharkhand karnataka and chhattisgarh okay these are important what in some other parts of the india also some iron ore are found so remember these are the most important point these are the most important states where we find the iron ore so in that magnetite we were talking the magnetite if you see that is being that is the highest quality of iron okay and it is being found in the singhum in jharkhand kudremukh in karnataka selam in tamil nadu krishna kurnool region in the andhra pradesh okay now how will we locate this jharkhand singhung area like here if you see in these areas we have the iron ore here we have the jharkhand area and here we have the singhung okay there we have the singhung just let me go to map okay see here if you see our india map here we have the jharkhand sorry here here in this area we have the jharkhand and there we have the singhung okay i have the map of the iron ore also i'll bring it to you okay so this is regarding the magnetite and then the next type of iron is what hematite okay and its formula is what remember this formula's name also because they are asking 
about the magnetite, about the hematite, lies questions are being asked from this particular point. So, hematite formula is Fe2O3 and it is in red or the brown color and in this particular hematite, we have the 60 to 70 percentage metal of iron, okay, and it is the second grade iron. So, the topmost quality we have, that is the magnetite. So, what are all those areas? We have the Mayurbhanj, Kion Jhar, Sundargarh in the Odisha and in the Jharkhand, Singhbhum, we know, and some parts of Maharashtra, Karnataka and the Goa, okay. There we have the hematite, okay. So, in these particular points, see, don't get confused. So, in this particular point, what you all do, don't remember on the basis of like magnetite, we have this area, on the basis of hematite, we have this area. Just remember in this area, we have the iron ores, okay. Just remember that one. In the magnetite, hematite, we are talking. So, just remember that, that it is the purest form of iron, magnetite, okay. So, it is black in color, hematite, it is having the 60 to 70 percentage iron. So, at that point, you all must know. And now, overall basis, you must know about these parts that in this area, we have the iron ore. No need to know that magnetite, magnetite is being found in this area. Okay. So, that will confuse you all. But remember that in this area, we have the iron ore. Okay. Then, we have the limonite. Okay. Limonite is formula is what? FeO is formula is FeO dot N. H2. Okay. That means what? If we can put any number of this particular H2O. Okay. So that is the formula of limonite. limonite. Okay. Just a minute. Okay. So this is regarding the limonite. Now we have the next form of iron that is the siderite. Okay. So in this siderite, if you see it is brown in color and it is the lowest grade iron ore. Iron ore okay. Which is brown in color and it is having a 40 to 45 percentage of iron. And it is financially unviable. Means what? Like siderite, we have this particular iron ore. But here what is happening? Because of the less percentage of this iron, suppose if you are buying some ore, okay? And there you want to extract iron. So in that case, what you will be thinking? You will be thinking that will we, we want profit from that particular iron ore. If you are like, if you are investing 10 lakhs rupees and, and because of this less quantity of this iron, less quantity of iron in this in this siderite form so here what happens if because of that if we are getting only 8 lakhs that means we are in prop, uh, loss so that's why it is financially unviable okay and this particular iron ore it is being found in the sedimentary rocks siderite okay and remember that limonite it is found in the rani ganj area of the west bengal okay it is also the low grade but it is it is higher grade than the siderite okay so, this is regarding the some parts of the iron ore. So, now in this particular point, some important places are there we, where we can find this iron ore. Okay. So, iron ore reserves, if you see, 95% uh, of iron ore reserves we can find in this area. Odisha, Jharkhand, Chhattisgarh, Karnataka, Goa, Telangana, Andhra Pradesh and the Tamil Nadu. So, these are the areas where we can find this particular iron ore. So now in this point, I will talk about some important points, some important places names. So in this, if you see, first place we have the, you all would have heard the name of Belari. Belari and the Chik in the area of Karnataka. So Belari, Chik Maglur, then also we study about the Kudremukh in Karnataka. Kudremukh in Karnataka. So in this area, we have the iron ore. So this, this particular place where it is, it is in the area of Karnataka. So, this is important. Okay. So, now if you see in the area of Jharkhand, in the area of Jharkhand, the most famous place for the iron ore is what? Singhbhum. So, in the area of Jharkhand, we have the Singhbhum. So, remember this particular point about the Singhbhum. Then in some parts of Odisha, okay, in parts of Odisha, we have the various, we, we have the various iron ore, okay. We talked about like we have the Mayurbhanj, Kyonjar and the Sundargad. Okay. So, in this particular point, also remember about one more point that it is the, we have one Joda village. Joda village, Mayurbhanj, we have Sundargad, Sundargad and we have the Kyonjar. So, these are the places in Odisha, famous for the 
iron ore okay so these are places in odisha which are famous for the iron ore we have talked about the, some parts of karnataka then one important place is there in maharashtra that is ratnagiri ratnagiri in maharashtra it is famous for the iron ore so these are the important places which you all must remember about this particular places okay so these particular places you all must remember so now in like we will be finding some mines in these areas okay so famous mines you all must remember in karnataka this kudre mukh we have this particular kudre mukh in the baba budan hills okay so baba budan hills is famous for the iron ore mines okay so remember that baba budan hills it is famous for the iron ore mines then in the chatisgarh also we have some area like we have the durg we have the bastar region in chatisgarh we have durg bastar region which are famous for the iron ore which are famous for the iron ore and they are in the dantewada area okay in chatisgarh in, there we have the area no, named as the dantewada so they are in the dantewada district we have this particular iron ore mines and these belongs to the chatisgarh area it is good okay so these are some important places of the iron ore mines so this is about the iron ore mines and some important points regarding the iron ore mines i wanted to talk to you all important points like we know that you know uh, during the even the during the world war 2 also and then the british were ruling that time iron was exported from india part okay so now in doing that time if you see doing that time if you see japan to japan we export iron okay to japan we export iron and it was exported from the visakhapatnam port visakhapatnam visakhapatnam port from this particular place we export iron ore to japan iron ore to japan so remember this particular point and regarding the visakhapatnam questions have been asked that we export iron ore from which of the following eastern coastal areas okay so that was the vijay port so remember this particular point then kudre mukh we have talked then we have to, we have also talked about the baba budan is so this is all important points regarding the iron ore and also we have talked that india is the fourth fourth largest producer of the iron okay. india is the fourth in the production of the iron ore in the world so that is all important points regarding the iron now we will talk about the manganese ore okay. now we have the second second ferrous mineral that is the manganese ore so as a natural oxide in the dharwar rocks in the dharwar rocks we have this manganese ores there we will find this this type of ores okay manganese ores we find in the dharwar rocks and this particular point if you see the major ores we have the silomeline okay we call this manganese ore like iron ore we, it will be called by the one the iron ore names okay and we have this various various forms okay magnetite hematite limo limonite and whether siderite then in the manganese also we have the ores and they have the various ores names okay we have the silo meline names okay we have the boronite ore so in this manganese we have the various ore so we have the silo meline boronite and also in this we have the pyrolusite okay also we have the pyrolusite so if they give some different names that these ores are related to which which minerals okay so silomeline boronite and the pyrolusite ores are related to the manganese ores okay and this particular area, india is the fifth place in the world so production of in the production of manganese india is in the fifth place okay and in the dharwar rocks we will finding this manganese where we have the kadapa rock system okay there we will be finding this manganese and then the, then the top producing states of this manganese are madhya pradesh maharashtra and the odisha and the reserves we have in the odisha area karnataka and the maharashtra madhya pradesh okay and the producing countries south africa china australia and the fifth we have the our country then if you see in the manganese steel manufacturing uses of that we have the steel manufacturing paint glass industry dry battery so in that we have the uses of this particular manganese okay so what are all those states 
where we have the manganese production. So in that case, if we see, we have some particular places names. So it is found in the part of Odisha. So in the Odisha, we have the Kyunjhar, Bonai, Sundargarh, Kalahandi and the Koraput. Okay. So now in this point, it's not only that you all must remember about this particular places names. Okay. Like sometimes questions can be asked that Koraput district is in which place? So remember that some important iron ore mines we are talking. So Koraput is in Odisha. Like in the match, the following they might ask. Okay. So remember. So in the Karnataka, we have the Bellari, Shimoga, Chikmagalur, and the Belgaon district, where we have the manganese production. Okay. Where we have the manganese production. Okay. So remember this particular point. Then in the Madhya Pradesh and the Chhattisgarh area, we have the Balaghat, Chindwara, Bilaspur, Jabalpur, and the Jabwa district. Okay. So in this important point is regarding the Balaghat, Chindwara, and the Bilaspur and the Jabalpur. Okay. Then in Maharashtra, we have the Nagpur area, Bandara, Ratnagiri district. Okay. Where we could find the magnets. Then in the Andhra Pradesh, we have the Vijayag area, Visakhapatnam and the Guntur. Okay. So in Andhra Pradesh, we have two places where, where we could find the magnets. That two places are the Andhra Pradesh and the Guntur. So this is all important points regarding the magnets. Okay. Now, if you see on the map, if you see on the map regarding this magnet production, you can see here this Delhi area, some parts of the Delhi also it is present. Okay. Then if you see in the Visakhapatnam area, here we have this particular magnet or deposits. Okay. So this is regarding some important points regarding the magnet. So now major regions we have talked all those. So now we'll be moving on to the next part that is regarding the that is regarding the copper. So before copper. Okay, so now we will be talking about the copper part. Okay, so now in this copper, if you see copper, less copper is found in India due to, so that's why we import copper from the other parts of the world. So top producing assets, if you see, we have the MP. In the MP, we have the Malaj Khand and the Bala Khand. Okay, so remember the Malaj Khand area. And in the Rajasthan, Rajasthan, we have the Khetri mines. Okay, in Rajasthan, we have the Khetri mines which is famous for the copper mines. Okay. So remember the Khetri place name, like some important place name I'm saying. So remember that place's name. Like I told you about the Kudremuk. Okay. So Kudremuk, you all must remember that where we have the iron ore. Okay. Then Khetri mines famous for the copper. So this particular point you all must remember. Then we talk about the Singh boom. Okay. So some important places you all must remember. So in Rajasthan, we have the Khetri mines, Bilwada. Then in Jharkhand, we have the Singhum and the Ghatsila. And we have the Andhra Pradesh, Guntu region. And the top producing countries, if you see, Chile, Peru, and the China. And the reserve states, if you see, we have the, in the Rajasthan, Jharkhand, and the Madhya Pradesh. Then what are all those uses of this particular copper? It is being used as like a way when we make the bronze. Okay. In that, copper is mixed with the tin. Okay. So remember that copper is mixed with the tin and brass is mixed with the zinc. Okay. So remember that for the formation of bronze, it is formed by the copper plus tin and brass is formed by the copper plus zinc. So remember this particular point. Then copper is also used in the power industry and in making utensils. Okay. So remember this particular point regarding the copper. And then at which places we have the copper mines. So if you see at this particular places in the place of like Rajasthan, in the MP area and parts of the Jharkhand, okay, we have the copper mines. So in this copper mines, if you see here, we have the Singhung area, okay, in the Jharkhand, okay. And then Hajaribagh, we have, we have the Palamu, okay. This Palamu don't get confused, this is in Jharkhand area, okay. After the division of Bihar and Jharkhand, Palamu went to the Jharkhand area, okay. Then Balaghat area we have. Then in this particular point in the Rajasthan area, remember about the Khetri mines. There we have the copper mines. So that is regarding the copper mines. So now our next part is what? So in this particular point, now, now our next is the lead and the zinc. So copper we talked and this particular copper. So you see here, in these parts, if you see in this map, in these parts, in the Prinsla Plateau area, we will be finding the Dharwar rocks. Okay we will be finding the Dharwar rocks from which we have the various minerals 
extraction. So remember the Havar rocks, it is famous for the various minerals. So remember in the most of the parts where we'll be talking, there we'll be saying about the Dharwar rocks. So remember about all these points. Then we have talked about the Khetri mines and also in Rajasthan, remember about the place name that is the Junjun. It is also famous for the copper mines. Okay, in Rajasthan. So remember about these places name. Okay, like see in the various exams regarding the copper mines, questions have come. Like they have asked, asked that which state of India is the largest producer of copper. So in this particular point, everyone would have marked the Rajasthan. What it is the MP. So it is the MP which is famous for the copper. But some important mines we have, some important mines we have that is in the area of Rajasthan. Okay, like Khetri mines, Junjunu mines, we have seen. But whereas if we see in the Rajasthan, this particular Rajasthan is famous for the copper ore reserves. Okay, here in this particular point, we have the reserves. Okay, but in case of production, if you see, it, it is in the area of Madhya Pradesh. Okay, reserves is different. Like reserve means what? We have that particular ores. Okay, but we are not producing from that ores. Okay, we are not extracting that much from that ores. But where is in the production means what? We have some mines, ores in the MP areas. And from that, we are doing the production, okay? And that is being used in the various parts, okay? So that's why we call it as the, the highest producer of copper is the MP. And the maximum reserves, copper ore reserves we have in the Rajasthan, okay? So remember this point, like questions have been asked that Khetri is famous for, Khetri built of Rajasthan state is famous for, like questions have been asked in the various exams. So remember these points, okay? So this is regarding some important points regarding the copper mines. Now we move on to the lead. Okay. So in the lead, if you see the major ore, we have the galena and it is found in the mixed form with the silver. Okay. It is found in the mixed form in with the silver. And then if you see head producing is in Rajasthan, Jharkhand and the Andhra Pradesh. No need to remember this head producing states. Just you see, just you see one time for your information purpose. Okay. Then we import lead from the Australia, Canada and the Myanmar. Then the next mine we have the zinc. Okay. So in the zinc, if you see, it is, it is also found in the mixed form with the cadmium. Okay. Cadmium or also we can call it as the, this zinc is also being found in the, with the mixed form with the lead. Okay. So there we'll be finding in the mixed form, this particular zinc. Okay. And here, this particular zinc, we know that we have the various uses of this zinc. So, in this particular point, also remember one important point regarding the zinc that the state of Rajasthan, the state of Rajasthan has a monopoly in the production or mono, monopoly in the production and the it has monopoly and Mo sorry, monopoly in the production of monopoly in the production, production of production and the reserves, production and the reserves of zinc. So remember that this question has been asked that which state has the monopoly in the production and the reserves of zinc. So it is the Rajasthan. Okay. So if you see in this particular area, base quality zinc and the lead reserves, okay, which are found in Asia. So that Asia area, if you see that there is a place in the Rajasthan, that Rajasthan name is what? That is the Rampur, Rampur Agucha region. Rampur Agucha region, here we have the zinc reserves. Okay. And that is the, that is the base quality zinc. Okay. So remember what this Rampur Agucha region, which is, which is in the part of Rajasthan. Okay. Then in the various parts also we have, in the Andhra Pradesh also we have, Madhya Pradesh also we have. Then in also in this region of Rajasthan, Devari. So in Devari, here we are the largest producer of zinc. But remember that in the Rampur Agusha region, we are what we have, we have the best quality of zinc. Best quality of zinc we have found in the area of Rampur Agusha region, that is in Rajasthan. So this is regarding this particular zinc point. Okay. So this is regarding the zinc. Now we move on to the next part, some important parts. Okay, some important points like we have the various minerals. Okay, we can see here iron ore, all this by the black in the Odisha area, you have the iron ore in the Jharkhand area, we have the iron ore. 
then some parts of the ration also we have the iron ore okay then we have the bauxite bauxite minerals we have in the some parts of the jammu kashmir only bauxite is there in the jammu kashmir so only some minerals are being found in these northern parts of india so this is regarding the lead zinc okay now we'll be talking about the bauxite okay so now in the bauxite if you see india has the ample reserves of the high quality bauxite so in the bauxite if you see from the bauxite ore only we extract aluminium okay from the bauxite ores only we extract aluminium like in 12th standard when you all would have studied about this important chapter there we would have studied about the bauxite ore so bauxite is an ore of aluminium and its origin origin is related to the laterite rocks okay. the aluminium content in the bauxite ore is 55 to 65 percentage okay and in that top state if you see we have the Odisha, gujarat Jharkhand. okay and reserves if you see we have the Odisha, andhras and the gujarat okay and india ranks fifth in the bauxite production okay and the bauxite is used in the machinery machinery manufacturing leather dyeing petrol and the salt cleaning okay so these are the important points regarding the bauxite now in this particular point if you see if you see according to the 2021 report okay if you see according to the 2021 report there will be finding that there will be finding that odisha is the largest producer of bauxite okay according to the 2021 report odisha is the largest producer of bauxite okay odisha is largest producer of bauxite okay so this is then after it if you see the largest resources okay then the largest resources also we have in the odisha only okay so largest producing we have the odisha and also the reserves we have the maximum in the odisha so remember this point okay now if you see that this bauxite ores okay like in the odisha area we have the largest production and also we have the reserves then the we from which ore from which rocks this particular bauxite is being obtained so this particular we have some rocks which is being obtained from the being obtained from the Honda light ranges Honda light ranges okay so from these rocks we obtain the rocks of Honda light ranges from this particular point we obtain the bauxite ores okay then also if you see in the various area like we have the Kora put from there also we obtain this bauxite okay then we have the Lohar Dabga, we have the Gumla, we have the Latehar. So these are the parts of the, in this bauxite, like in the Koraput district of Odisha, we will be finding these bauxite ores. Okay. Then we have the other parts of India in the Jharkhand area, like we have the Lohar Dabga. Lohar Dabga. Okay. There we will be finding the bauxite ores. Okay. So this is regarding the, this is regarding the bauxite part. Okay. Now in the various parts also we will talk we'll see here in the map regarding the bauxite we have the various places like kalahandi sambalpur koraput bolangi and the samarpur district so in this particular point remember about the koraput okay koraput and the sambalpur already we have studied about the mahanadi river that we have studied about the hiraput dam hiraput dam so remember about this particular point also then in gujarat we have in some parts of the gulf of kutch okay then gulf of kambat area then some district, major district of Kheda and the, then in the Maharashtra area, we have the Kolhapur, Thane and the Ratnagiri. In Jharkhand, we have the Ranchi, Palamu, Lohar Daga area. Then in Chhattisgarh, we have the Bilaspur and the Durg. So remember that Durg, if name comes, so here we have the various minerals. Durg, uh, or also if we, if we get the name of Dante Vada, okay, of Chhattisgarh, this Chhattisgarh state. So there we have the various minerals being obtained from that particular places. Then in Tamil Nadu, we have the Salem district where we could find the this particular bauxite ores. Okay. So this is regarding the this is regarding the some parts of the bauxite ores. Okay. So we have talked about the copper, we have talked about the zinc, we have talked about the bauxite ores. So now in this particular point, also I will talk about some important points regarding the silver. Okay. So regarding the silver, it is not there in the slides. Okay. So just you all write down regarding the silver okay only some important points are there regarding silver like if you see which state is the this silver if you see it is being found in the combined form 
so it is being found in the combined form with the lead and zinc okay in combined form we will find this particular silver okay then which state is the highest producer of highest producer of silver if you see so rajasthan is the highest producer rajasthan is the highest producer of the uh, silver so this particular point we must know then for the production of silver we have a place name we have the place name that is the jawar mines jawar mines where we have this silver then if you see the gold deposits if you see the gold deposits so this is this is i am talking regarding the gold we have the polar gold fields then we have the hooti okay polar and hooti gold fields that is in the karnataka area which is famous for the gold production okay which is famous for the gold deposits so that is regarding the this is regarding the gold fields okay then silver also we have talked in the rajasthan we have the jawar mines okay and that's is the highest producer of silver and silver is found in the combined form of lead and the zinc so this is regarding the silver okay now if you see if you see regarding the tin so we have important mineral that is the tin so for the tin if you see tin is the maximum the ore of the ore of this particular tin is known as what it is known as the cassiterite cassiterite ore of this particular tin is known as the cassie Terite. Remember this particular name and the only police producing state of this tin is what? Chhattisgarh. And it is the only producing state. Okay. Only producing state of the tin. So remember this particular point. Only producing state of tin is the Chhattisgarh. Okay. Now in this, like in the Chhattisgarh, we have, we have one important place name that I told, told you all about the Dante. So at this place only we will be finding the tin okay and that is in the chhattisgarh region okay so this is regarding the tin okay now we have some various non metallic minerals okay so in the non metallic minerals only some important minerals are there only some important minerals are there in which first we will discuss about the mica okay so regarding the this minerals if you see here it is flexible we know it is transparent okay and this particular also we use it in the electro resistor okay so there we will be using this mica then if you see regarding the mica rajasthan is the rajasthan is the largest producer of mica okay rajasthan is the largest producer of mica so remember this particular point regarding the mica rajasthan is the largest producer of mica then if we go on for the other parts regarding the mica if you see so here like we have the various reserves okay in the part of Rajasthan we have, then in the part of other parts we have in the Andhra Pradesh also we have. So in the Andhra Pradesh we have the maximum reserves. In the Andhra Pradesh we have the maximum reserves. Then some parts of Rajasthan we have. Okay, we have talked about the Rajasthan. Then in the parts of Odisha we have the mica ores reserves we have. Okay, then in some parts of the Maharashtra we have, and some parts of Bihar, we have the mica reserve. So in that, if you see, in that particular point, if you see in the Rajasthan, Andhra Pradesh has the maximum reserves, which has the 41 percentage of this mica reserves. Then parts of the Rajasthan, if you see, here we have the 28 percentage of the mica reserves. Then in the parts of Orissa, we have 17 percentage. Okay, no need to remember this, uh, all these percentage names. Okay, all these, how much percentage is there? Just for the information purpose, I am talking. Okay. Then in the Maharashtra area, we have the 13 percentage, and in Bihar, we have the 2 percentage of mica ores. Okay. Then in the Bihar area only, if you will be seeing, there is a place name that is the like Gaya, you all would have heard. Okay. Gaya, Ajari Bagh, Munge. There we have the this mica area. Okay. Then there is a place name. That is the capital of Mica. So, which is the capital of Mica? If questions are being asked, capital of Mica, that is the Kodarma. Okay. Kodarma, which is in the Kodarma, which is in the Jharkhand. Okay. Jharkhand. So, there we have the Mica. So, this is regarding some important points regarding the Mica. Then also, if we see about the some non, non metallic minerals, so we have talked about mica then other points we have regarding the 
marbles okay so this point also we must know regarding the marbles so regarding the marbles if you see okay in this point we were talking uh, we have also talked about the copper so one important note you all must note it down that we have the sariska national park sariska national park where we have the sariska national park where we have the copper mines but the extraction of the copper was banned by the supreme court in this sariska national park okay so where do you have the sariska national park just go home and find out that where we have the sariska national park so this is regarding the copper point and this is the important because the copper the extraction of copper has been banned in these areas it has been banned so remember this point so that is regarding this particular copper so now if you see the other point we will be talking the next is the regarding the marble okay so regarding the marble if you see it is we know that we have the various marble areas okay so in this marble production if you see marble it is what it is the metamorphic rock it is the metamorphic rocks okay so regarding this particular point if you see we have a production of marble in the area of Rajasthan okay in the Rajasthan there is a place named Makarana Makarana in Nagore district of Rajasthan there we have this particular marble production and in the like uh, all this if you see like high quality marble we are find, finding in the area of like Taj Mahal if you see then Victoria uh, Victoria Memorial in the Kolkata there we are finding this particular marble okay so there is what we can call this all these marbles are brought from these areas from the Rajasthan and the Rajasthan is the largest producing state of the marble Rajasthan is the largest producing state of the marble okay it is the largest producing state so remember this particular point regarding the marble okay so in this like uh, where the questions have come in the like some exams where is the best quality of marble being found so this is the this area makrana in nagar district of rajasthan okay so remember this particular point and if some questions comes like polishing and cutting factory of marble happens at which place so that happens in the Katni MP area. Okay. So polishing and cutting. Polishing and cutting of marble happens in which is in MP. Okay. So this is regarding the marble. So we have finished talking about that all those mineral resources. Okay. Now if we move on to the next classes, there will be seeing about the, some energy mineral resources. Okay. There will be studying about the coal. So all these points we will be talking in the next class. Okay. So we have finished talking about all those important mineral resources. Even the non-metallic mineral resources also we have talked. Okay. Now in this particular point, some important point, some one more. I will tell you all. I will discuss with you all. Like we have the diamond. Okay. So for the diamond is famous in the area of Panna. Okay. So that point also is some important point. If you see regarding the diamond. So, diamond also, this point also we must know. Like some places are famous for some only important, like Khetri is famous for the copper mines. Okay. Then diamond. Diamond we have in the place MP, that is the Panna. Okay. In that particular point, we have the diamond ores. Okay. So, for first we know that this diamond, it is the purest form of carbon. It is the purest form of carbon okay so this particular it is the purest form of carbon okay and we know that it is the hardest element found in nature it is the hardest element element found in nature now we have the world famous you all would have heard about the kohi new diamond kohi nur diamond okay so this particular kohi nur diamond from from which places do we find this particular Kohenur diamond? So that diamond area, if you see about the Kohenur diamond, so this particular Kohenur diamond we can find in the Golconda mines. So this particular Kohenur diamonds, it is being extracted from the Golconda mines. And where do we have this Golconda mines? It is in the Andhra Pradesh area. So it is being extracted from the Golconda mines. Where it is? It is in the 
Andhra Pradesh area. Okay, so there we are finding the Koinu diamond, and then the other regions of the diamond, if you see, the other regions of diamond we have in the Panna. Okay, so Panna is famous for the diamond. Okay, which is in MP. MP means what? Madhya Pradesh. So remember, Panna and the Koinur, the Golconda mines is famous for the diamond. Okay. So like important points, we talk about Panna is famous for diamond. Then we talk about the Khetri. Khetri is famous for the copper mines. Okay. So those things you all must remember. So in that way, like in the match, the following questions can be asked. And already in the NDA exams regarding this Panna, Khetri, Panna, Khetri, questions have been asked for the match the following. Okay. So remember the important points. Okay. Now we have uh, one more element that is the gypsum. Okay. Like yesterday we were talking that if we can make a soil fertile if we add gypsum and the lime to it. Okay. So it can be made fertile. So what are all those states we have the, what are some important states we, where we have this gypsum production. Okay. So first regarding the gypsums, if you see, we have the various ores of gypsums. Okay, so some ores are known by the name of like we have the selenite, selenite where we could find the gypsum. Okay, selenite. Also, then we have the satin spar. We have the satin spar. Then we have the gypsite. So these are the various ores of gypsum. Then some regions, if you see, so in, in for the regarding the gypsum, if you see, we have the Rajasthan. Okay, we have the Rajasthan, which is the highest producer of gypsum. Okay, so I told you all that Rajasthan is the having the various minerals. Okay, okay, in maximum amount. So Rajasthan is the highest producer of gypsum, and in the Rajasthan we have the one place name that is the Hanuman Gad. Okay, we have a place name that is the Hanuman Gad. Hanuman Gad. So in this particular area of Rajasthan, we have this particular gypsum mines in that area. Okay, then also in some other area also we have this particular gypsum mines like Bikaner, Jodhpur, Nagpur, but it is not that much important. Okay, now in this particular point like we have talked about the various parts. Now in this point remember that gypsum, gypsum mines is also found in the district of Doda which is in the Jammu and Kashmir area. Okay, so remember about this Doda district. Okay, where we have the gypsum production. Okay, so this is regarding the all important minerals. 